So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It is an absolutely perfect day today here in Pennsylvania. Beautiful clear skies, cool temperatures, and a nice breeze. Perfect morning to finish up staining this deck over trailer. So if you saw that last video, you know, Melissa pressure washed this trailer. She let it dry and then she applied the first coat of stain on it. I let it sit overnight and I put the second coat on this morning, but I'm pretty pleased with the uh, results. We didn't spend a lot of time on it or anything like that. You know, it's just a trailer, but I wanted to get something on it. And I've had this trailer for a few months now and I waited for the pressure treated deck to, you know, dry out a little bit to get it stained. But yeah, I think it looks great, and I'm pretty pleased with this stain right here. It's the first time I ever used this. This is the Cabot Gold. It's not cheap, but it's good stuff. Uh, this is the Sunlit Walnut. Now, this is an oil-based stain, which is the good stuff. And the way it seems to work, you put that first coat on, it kind of sinks right into it, soaks it right up, let it dry, and then the second coat seals it up. Now, if you wanted to build or, you know, if you wanted to stain a deck, it would have to be bare wood. You know, you wouldn't want to put that on over top of anything else. It's a semi-transparent. But if you got that bare wood and you were to sand that, put the first coat on, lightly sand it again, and then put the second coat on, I think your uh, deck would look like hardwood floors. But yeah, it's pretty nice stuff. We'll see how it holds up. Uh, this trailer will get a bunch of use this summer, but the hardest thing on it is just the sun. Sitting out in the sun every day just kind of bakes it, so we'll see how it holds up uh, as far as the UV rays go. Next up, I'm going to give the uh, excavator just a real quick bath. Just kind of spray it off real quick and grease it before we do any more digging with it. But the weather looks great uh, for the rest of the week, I think at least till this weekend. And I have a lot of work for this machine and the skid loader. I need to grease it as well today. So this day kind of got away from me. I did get the uh, second coat of stain on the trailer. I managed to get the excavator cleaned up a little bit. Just a quick wash. Got it greased and ready to go. And then I had to run down to my mom's. I cut her grass. And then I had to take care of some things in the office. And then I had to run out for a little bit. And here we are. It's already evening. But we're still going to get a few things accomplished before it gets dark. Like I said, it was just a uh, quick wash. And really the only reason I do that... Uh, when I grease it, you get so much dirt built up behind the blade right here. Uh, the blade's pretty low to the ground, and you get dirt rolls over top of it quite a bit. And a lot of people have asked about that, why it doesn't have a taller blade on it. It could definitely handle it. It would push it fine, but it would be in the way of the bucket. Uh, so I think that's why the engineers design them this way. It works fine the way it is, but you can actually hit that blade with the bucket the way it is. If it was any higher at all, it would be a big problem. Matter of fact, when I pull this in the building over here, if you go in blade first, bucket first, uh, you can just get the boom down low enough, you know, because you curl everything in. If that blade was any taller, you wouldn't be able to get the boom as low. So I think that's why it's like that. But anyway, right now I'm going to hop in the excavator. We're going to run down to the lower wood yard, and I have a trail down there. Well, I don't have a trail yet. That's what we're going to do. We're going to build a trail. I need to get from the lower wood yard down to the pond because my old trail now has about eight feet of fill on it and it drops straight off. So uh, we need to get a new way to get down to the pond. All right, so the uh, old trail that went down to the pond it went right through here. You can see the conveyor sitting over there. Well, I've got probably eight, maybe even nine feet of fill out where that conveyor is. That'll all be stoned and like the new road to kind of enter into the wood yard. But anyway, since I can no longer use that trail, I'm going to go straight through here. And the new one goes right beside the woodshed over the hill. And then uh, once we get to the lower wood yard over there, we're going to figure out exactly where we're going to take it. I'm not 100% sure yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. All right, so here we are 
at the lower wood yard, right? This trail's gonna start right here. Now I could just go straight down over the hill, but uh, it's steep, it is. There's a huge change in elevation, like from here down to the pond. And by the way, I don't have to get the whole way to the pond, because once we get to the bottom of this steep part here, I can tie into the old trail again. But I think what I'm gonna do is just kinda start right down through here. The goal is to not really take out uh, any trees. We'll see how that goes. But I am gonna take out some of this uh, scrubby stuff right here. Yeah, matter of fact, I may go right through here. And I may have to get down and do like a switchback or something. Once we get out there about 100 feet or so, uh, it'll start to make sense, I think.
right, I'm getting there. What I was doing uh, is cleaning up all that brushy stuff. And when I come back out of here, I'll grab all this, take it right up to the burn pit right up there. But I think this will work out pretty good. Right about where the uh, excavator is sitting, I'll be making a turn to the left. And then uh, kind of running like the side hill a little bit. Yeah. I can just see that trail down there. It's down there eh, maybe about 100 yards, maybe a little further. Kind of go through here. Yeah, I think that'll work pretty good. All I'm going to do with the excavator is clear those little trees and the brush out of the way. And then, uh, I'm trying to think, I'll probably pull like the topsoil downhill and make a pile down there towards the bottom. I'll be able to use that at some point. And I may even bring, you know, tomorrow, bring some of that shale down. This is the steepest part right here, but if I go up that hill just a little bit, I can cut that down some. Won't be too bad. We made it down here to the uh, old trail. This is the trail that goes down to the pond here. So all I did here this evening was uh, clear all the brush and the little trees out of the way. When I said earlier the goal was not to clear any trees, I meant any big trees, just to clarify. But anyway, we'll get you a better look as we go back up the hill. Uh, when I get back up towards the top, I'll grab all that brush up there and we'll take it over to the uh, burn pit. And then uh, tomorrow, I'll scrape that topsoil off of there, then I'll get the skid loader down here, right here where the excavator's sitting. You know, it's four or five feet higher than this trail right here, so I'll make a nice kind of a bank turn right in here, and uh, should work out pretty good. I'll tell you what, you know that uh, spring is here and summer is on the way because there's already some bugs buzzing around here. Here's a little better look at uh, where I just came from, but I'll tell you what, I thought I had my first incident with the excavator i'm not even sure what happened i'll have to go back and look at the uh, video but i was kind of pulling a tree this way and i hit a dead one over on this side and it hit right above the door hard i mean i had my headphones on i'm listening to a podcast in there when i'm running the machine it hit hard i thought for sure there'd be a dent i got up on top looked around there's not even a scratch on it got the uh, excavator back up top here got a bunch of brush piled up in the burn pit from up here you can kind of see how this will shake out here this pile of logs here will be gone but that new trail will come down here straight down through the woods that way about 100 feet and kind of turns to the left 
heads down to the pond. It's really a little steeper than I like, but uh, sometimes it's tough because we're way up here and we got to get way down there. So it'll work out. Oh, before we wrap this video up, I want to talk about something and actually warn you about something. Uh, the other day we had a scammer or a spammer, whatever you want to call it, replying to some of your comments on our videos. And they had a number there and wanted you to text them or something like that. And they used our picture. They took our picture, but it did not say outdoors with the Morgans. If there's ever any question, you know, when we reply to a comment, it will show the little picture of Melissa and I. It'll say outdoors with the Morgans, and there'll be a blue check mark. That means our account is verified. But this happens quite often on YouTube. I've seen it on other channels uh, quite a bit, actually. So it's just kind of a pain in the neck. But if there's ever any question, if something seems the slightest bit fishy, it probably is. So keep that in mind. I spent about two hours blocking these people and removing the comments. And then they would use another username, tried it again. I spent another hour taking care of all that. And then we started getting emails from some of you asking if this was legitimate. It's not. So like I said, if it seems the slightest bit fishy, just ignore it. We'll get to it. We're well aware of that stuff. It happens all the time, so we take care of it. But, uh, yeah, when I was done blocking all them, then I was trying to reply to all the emails saying, absolutely not us, but look for that blue check mark. Don't forget, that's very important because uh, this kind of people are around. drives you crazy. Really, that's one of the things, probably one of the three things that I'd like the federal government to do. One of three things. That's all I want, three things. Some decent roads to drive on. Uh, a strong military, that'd be good, and hunt down those spammers and scammers from other countries. I think that's the three things that I want. That's about it. Not asking for much. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. I really appreciate y'all being here, and I'll catch you on the next one.